Hello everybody and welcome to your Soul Sunday message for August 16th, 2020. This week, Spirit is bringing a message through about your destiny and what's standing in your way, what's blocking you, what needs to happen because there is something very special for you, okay? There is something you feel inside, a calling inside. And I have all the weekly Oracle messages, well, the daily messages that I put put up on my community page and if you don't know what that is or you haven't seen these that I've been posting I'll leave a link below um, so Monday we had the angel guidance Tuesday we had breakthrough Wednesday we had haunted thoughts Thursday we had written in the stars Friday we had choose carefully and Saturday we had heart healing okay and now what we're gonna do is put this all together for one message to tie up the whole week into a beautiful bow and this this is about your destiny, the calling within your soul. So your angels are trying to get through to you, are speaking to you, are giving you signs and synchronicities on how to create a breakthrough for yourself, which way you should go, what actions you should take, which behaviors may need to change. And one of the blockages here is haunted thoughts, something that you're really thinking quite a bit or something that's written in your subconscious mind is a big block to your destiny all right there's some fear attached to this like um, do I take a risk do I try something new do I go into the unknown do I explore the unfamiliar and the answer is yes because there's a lot of healing that's going to be found in that space all right so one of our biggest blocks that is uh, preventing our destiny, what is written in our soul, that deep, deep calling that will haunt you forever if you do not achieve, okay? Um, we've got to work on our thoughts about it, about ourselves, about what we can achieve, about what we can accomplish, no matter what is going on in this moment. You've got to believe in the good. You've got to believe in the magic of self. Your angels are with you. They want you to have a breakthrough. They want you to see things differently. They want you to fulfill your destiny, go into the highest potential that you could possibly achieve in whatever it is that you are reaching for, that you are setting out to do, all right? But we've got to be wise about things and as beautiful as our emotional body is, make sure that the decisions that you're making are coming, you know, from your intuition as well as your logic. If your emotions are really out of whack, um, they can kind of lead us astray sometimes or prevent us from moving forward. So that's what the healing is about. Your angels want to bring in a deep heart healing to help change what's going on in the mental body so you can confidently choose and intend your energy and move forward into your destiny. All right, so let's uh, pull a message from the angels to go along with this because they are right here all week long. Affirmations, and that is perfect for this, the thoughts, the haunted thoughts or um, the programming written in the subconscious mind of what can be achieved or what cannot be achieved. So we have affirmations. Be aware of your language and thoughts. The most powerful statement you can ever make, think, or feel is thank you. Be grateful for all the blessings in your life. As we acknowledge the divine order of life, the universe responds with ever greater blessings. You are a powerful creator. All you say and think resonates through the heart of creation and creation responds accordingly. So those of you that are having these troubled thoughts, Try some sleep affirmations. I always recommend that. That's what I turn to when I'm really in a bind. Um, they just help. They rewrite what's going on in that subconscious mind while you're sleeping. And that change in programming is going to allow you to start having different thoughts, new thoughts, and opening your energy up to things otherwise you would have missed or you wouldn't have seen or you would not have had the confidence in yourself to, to go after, to reach for. Okay? So your angel 
angels are really being a cheerleading squad for you right now. They want you to have a breakthrough, whatever this means for you personally. And the reason why you feel it so strongly is because it is written in your soul. All right, so let's pull um, another card and see what other spirits are around or what angels want to be known during this reading. Right, so we have Archangel Mallory, Uriel, and Michael with the Angel of Love and a Spirit. So there is a lot of support going on around you. This is about past life and Akashic Records. So there's some activations that have been taking place within you guys. And that's why you feel this calling so strong is because you mastered something in past life. And now it's time for that mastery to awaken awaken in this life journey to lead you forward to help you achieve this destiny that you feel within and you have a lot of angelic support on your side as well as a lot of other spiritual energy so past sound loved ones your spirit guides um, beings from other realms and dimensions coming in to love you to support you to guide you okay because um, we are all one we are a collective right the human family and even those other collective those um, beings from other dimensions and other worlds, they are still connected to us because we all come from source and they are very advanced and they just want to give love. They want to help grow and help evolve each and every one of us, okay? That's their agenda because think about it. When you are in a really good space and you are happy, you're doing well in life, what do you, what's your desire? To bless others, right? To uplift others, to help others. And you have no expectation. You don't want anything in return. That ability to be in that place to help others is enough, right? When you're just in the zone that's these higher beings okay they want to help they want to grow they want to evolve they want to show us where the blocks are and there's a lot of archangels coming in as well and archangel michael wanting to bring you the truth of things wanting to help you with this beautiful breakthrough that needs to happen in the mental body here so that you can align to your destiny what's written in your soul so let's pull some tarot and go deeper into this message Angel Guidance is coming through with the Queen of Cups sensitivity. The Queen of Cups is very empathic. She is intuitive. She is in alignment with the cycle of the moon. She understands people. She is very compassionate and nurturing and healing. And this is what's coming through under your angel guidance. So this is what your angels have been offering you and they're speaking to you through your intuition and trying to help balance your emotional body. Um, you know, because with haunted thoughts, that also goes down into the emotions, right? Really trying to help balance you and center you so you can hear them loud and clear through your intuition, which will allow you to make some decisions or to see things differently which brings this breakthrough forward. Nice. The Knight of Pentacles under that breakthrough with a message of trust. So this is something that's been long coming for you, okay? But also there is so much potential and growth once you have this breakthrough, whatever that means for you personally. There is nothing but stability here coming through as the Knight of Pentacles. Now, this Knight moves much slower, but this is the victory after the battle. You have won. You have achieved. And um, look at this the image on this card of the breakthrough. You know, breaking through the impossible. You will. You've just got to believe in yourself and your angels are your cheerleaders trying to encourage you forward. And look at that under the skull bones haunted thoughts we have the angel of peace coming through in temperance 
balancing the mental body and the emotional body, you becoming very centered so that the past isn't holding you back, fear isn't holding you back, lack of belief in self isn't holding you back, hesitation isn't holding you back any longer, all right? Under the stars, look at that. We've got an ace, the ace of wands, inspiration yes you feel that calling in your soul for a purpose it's not just in your head <clears throat> you're not crazy you feel the calling in your soul for purpose and your angels are helping you with that but there's something going on in the mental body that it's creating a block from this breakthrough but you're feeling your destiny you're feeling your call under choose carefully all right so the angel of transformation some of you know that there are some things that you have to let go of leave behind um, change release and that can be a very painful process even when it's things that you know don't serve you relationships that don't serve you or a past um, that you've been hoping to heal or resurrect somehow some way it's not easy to leave those things behind and your angels are, are acknowledging that for you okay but what must be let go of must be released you will be free from that you absolutely will and you're going to receive a healing whatever is lost you will heal from and you will grow beyond that experience that situation that person that past energy you're evolving beyond that you don't need that in your life anymore there are beautiful things coming in that are your destiny that are going to make you feel good and they're stable under the heart healing look at that the high priestess the angel of power really tap into your intuition your angels and higher spirits are speaking to you guiding you because this is a, a bigger deal we have um, one two three major arcana two court cards and one minor arcana which is an ace a beautiful ace coming through so this is big energy it's time for a change it is time for this breakthrough but i do see something must be released something must be left behind and there's a lot of hesitation in you or a lot of fear-based energy within you about that and, and you just haven't been quite sure and so your spirit coming in saying it's time to quiet your mind really center yourself tap into your intuition so that you can hear the guidance that's being given because you feel that it's a calling from the soul for purpose to move you forward to lead you ever onward to bigger and better things and you have so much energy around you and I know that you feel that but at the same time you might feel alone right because um, it's hard to uh, articulate this, but when you're in the vibes, you know, with the angels, all feels right and you're revved up and you're ready to go. And then it's like you come back down and you're in reality and you get deflated. I totally understand that. I That happens to me as well. And your angels are like, just call on us. We're going to keep you strong. We're going to keep supporting you. We're going to keep reminding you that we are with you. And the thing about our spiritual team is they can only guide us, okay? They cannot do the work for us. There are things that we have to do on our own. There are things that we have to decide on our own. They will always be there supporting us and soothing us and knowing, letting us know that we are not alone. But some things we have got to achieve, you know, by, on our own effort. And angels do bless when we complete cycles, when we've learned a lesson, it opens our energy up wide and they can bless us much more than you know in the normal course of things so there's always blessings that come after a long cycle is completed okay and they are with you they are guiding you you are not alone this is a pivotal moment on your path on your journey for you to decide deep within what you want and just go for it and reach for it no matter what because the calling is so strong within your soul so let's pull some more cards. Ooh. 
ritual, a celebrate life, a solar plexus chakra. So as some of you, Spirit is saying that you need to do some meditation, some balancing, and some healing with that solar plexus chakra. That is your powerhouse. That is where you manifest from. That is where you draw your courage and your strength from um, and, and your personal empowerment where you believe and you know and you are a leader for yourself, for others, okay? Um, some of you, this is where the block lies along with the thoughts okay so do some solar plexus work because you are meant to come into this power within self and follow your destiny and achieve the highest possible potential that you can all right oh look at this next out is the star and good fortune yes Stars and star written in the stars, good fortune for you. You feel it in your soul. This path, this journey is meant for you. Trust, move forward, believe, allow the transformation wherever that needs to take place in your life. Allow a shifting in thoughts. Believe in yourself, believe in the magic for like, just say for 30 days, you know what? No matter what, I am going to stick to the path of belief in self. All is well. I'm going to get there. This will pass. Things are working out for me. You know, I feel this calling. It's destiny. I'm going to follow through. I'm going to do whatever I could do in this moment right now because good fortune is meant for you. Spirit is saying, look at that. Beautiful. Next is ritual, body worship, a sacral chakra. Okay, so this coming through, we've got the solar plexus and we've got the sacral, the divine feminine and the divine masculine within you. That is a, a little bit out of balance for some of you. And when the sacral chakra is out of balance, this could be because you've been very hurt. Um, you've been betrayed. Uh, you could have been feeling things intuitively and you feel like you were led astray or the evidence externally didn't validate for you. All right. And um, when that's happening, it's because there is a big distortion in your chakra system and spirit is calling you to balance yourself the main distortion is existing either in solar or sacral maybe a combination of both okay but all of the chakras are a bit um, out of whack these two being the main culprits and so doing some chakra balancing and meditating will be highly beneficial for you there are a ton of free videos on YouTube for that just do a little search and you will find a lot to choose from and um, I I would recommend certain ones but what works for me may not work for you and just ask spirit to lead you to the meditation that is perfect for you your personal situation at this time that you can resonate with and you can connect to and receive healing from and understanding from and spirit will align you because whatever this distortion is whatever's caused it that's what we've got to let go of okay and come back into a place of wholeness of believing in self and believing in personal empowerment and knowing your divinity and knowing your worth and knowing your value and not settling for less okay spirit is confirming and your angels are your cheerleaders right now they want you to believe in self they want you to achieve what you set out in this life journey to experience and you to reach your highest potential. All right, so let's pull a few more tarot. And I am going to pull um, some cards for personal outcomes so you can, um, you know, pick your personal outcome from spirit. We're going to go deeper into this um, Angel of Transformation. Six of Wands, you are realizing what must be shed, who must be shed, because no matter how much you love or care for somebody, if they continually treat you terribly, 
take advantage of you, use you, walk on you, abuse you, whatever the case may be. You don't deserve that. And it takes away from your self-esteem. It, it writes things in your subconscious mind that don't belong there, that now become your programming and, and confine you and block you. All right, it's time for you to come into full recognition of yourself, of your divinity, and what holds you back internally and externally. It's your time to shine. It's your time to be recognized and rewarded with the Six of Wands, but we've got to choose to let something go here. Uh, yeah, Nine of Wands, determination. And sometimes when we're making choices, it burns at first, but it's for the better in the long run, okay? Others of you, Spirit is acknowledging that you have been on this long journey. It's been heavy, and now this journey is coming to an end for you. But you've got to choose that the energies of the past, the experiences of the past, don't define who you are. Take the best of every situation and experience, good or bad, and add that to yourself. Allow that to expand you, but don't let the negative take away the best parts of you or, or have you close up or stop believing in yourself. Stop believing in your magic and your personal empowerment. All right, you, you're meant for beautiful things here. You got the Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands. You're on a journey. You have the spiritual fortitude to make it happen, to have this beautiful breakthrough. Yes, right there. Page of Pentacles with a message of luck. You will manifest, but you've got to make the choice within. And sometimes, you know, on our journeys, we think that we have been very intentional and we're doing everything we're supposed to do and it's like this isn't happening this isn't happening or I'm why isn't this showing up and oftentimes you know there is some things that we're not aware of and that's you know it, subconsciously there's things that we're not aware of or it's not the right time okay sometimes there are external factors that have to align for you so ask spirit you know is there something i'm missing what's in my blind spot here and spirit will show you is this about timing do other factors you know need to align for me am i ready but the other factors aren't spirit will show you okay because you're meant for some blessings here it's written in the stars it's written in your soul you feel the calling for purpose don't let the past you know define what you are able to achieve right now today or in the future okay because there's going to be a deep healing that comes in after you make this choice whatever this is for you personally and your angels are right there there are a lot of spirits around you trying to help you and support you and encourage you to move forward and move onward okay so let's pull some personal outcomes for you guys i'm going to pull three different piles so ask your angels which pile is for me which pile is going to hold special personal messages that you want just for me cards for you guys for each pile and look at there's some yellow solar plexus some more yellow solar plexus and some orange sacral um, that goes right into alignment with what's already come out spirit is really like on that on that sacral solar plexus chakra the divine feminine the divine masculine within really balancing out those energies and you know those of you um that can get reiki i highly recommend or even remote reiki okay do a, a google search for reiki in your area and just see the <clears throat> you know reviews and, and which ones have really good reviews and are very helpful and get you some Reiki. All right, so for your personal outcomes, 
for this first set of cards. We already know there's some solar plexus coming through very strong for you, but what do we have? The green man, rising energy surge, fertility, and so this would be masculine energy, all right? And here's the solar plexus, cleanse and protect. So here for you guys, for this first pile, this is deeply about you knowing your magic, you knowing your worth, you claiming your personal power, you having courage and you pushing through and not letting fear-based energies hold you back, not let anybody tell you who you are, what you are, what you can achieve, what you can't achieve. It's time to cleanse your energy of these negative thoughts that you may hold about yourself because they're untruths and they come from other people. And Spirit wants you to be strong and empowered and achieve your dreams and your goals. So solar plexus work, your personal empowerment, big, big message. And your um, last card here is the star and it says believe in yourself you are a wonder you are a wonder of creation wash away all fear and discover you are a shining star allow all around you to just be let go of trying to control life for the light of your soul will guide you always towards love remember stars are born through explosions of love love illuminates all things never forget you are truly a shining star yes you are meant to achieve things you know stars star not much more to say okay yes you need to believe in self know that you can make mountains move you are magical spirit is confirming and wants you to know it's just some um, imbalance in that solar plexus chakra and maybe a little bit of uh, what's going on in that subconscious mind and that will you know working there will allow this beautiful breakthrough in your life okay so that is the special message for the first set of cards <clears throat> let's see for those of you who were attracted to this second set what do we have fairy energy growth expansion a flowering so this is again you believing in your magic and also you are right on the verge okay this growth here comes from making this choice and leaving things behind and you have this beautiful expansion which brings a flowering a manifestation into your life all right and oh yeah look at that so lesson clarity solar plexus chakra so um eternal sunshine right here is um you are on the verge we just need to do a little bit of um solar plexus work and you're going to receive the clarity you need you're going to know very quickly what holds you back from this breakthrough and you're going to be able to move forward and no longer be restricted because uh, you're just going to see it with the sunshine here and uh, look at growth expansion of flowering and then the soul lesson you've been working on a journey on a deeper lesson here than just you know experiencing life um, the different setbacks the weirdness that you've encountered has come into play because it was meant to make you much much stronger than you previously were preparing you for this flowering okay and now we've just got to get back in balance and you will see things your perception will shift and the manifestation will come in for you let's see oh my goodness yes because <clears throat> look at here positive outcome you are almost there my friends <clears throat> This says, at this moment, you are sowing the seeds of your future through your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and attitudes. Whether through love, fear, or indifference, you are always creating something. So remember to keep your thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes positive, and you will create a positive outcome. Yes, fairy energy. You are magical. Um, what you've been going through was a soul lesson, and now you're at that point to decide, all right, I'm going to leave this in the past. I'm going to allow myself to expand and you will and you move into a period of sunshine. You have a very positive outcome on the horizon for those of you who were attracted to this second pile. 
so lastly at the third pile with the sacral let's see what we have coming through mountain goddess high vibrations mindfulness power of the mind wow see haunted thoughts power of the mind so for you guys um there's some thoughts that are ingrained in your subconscious that really impact your sacral chakra um, that attack your self-esteem your worth your value and cause you to want to close off okay um, so there is definitely some healing that you need to do with that divine feminine energy within whether you are male or female okay and get back into higher vibrations the thoughts that you hold are very significant and just you switching your thoughts around are really going to elevate your vibration okay so with the sacral chakra let's see what we have the gift of creativity so this is an activation and awakening taking place in your sacral chakra as we change our thoughts about ourselves, our situation our past what we're reaching for whatever this is for you personally okay as you shift your thoughts about that a healing comes in to that divine feminine energy and your overall frequency of energy raises and all sorts of new ideas and understandings come to you because you receive a beautiful activation let's see all oh, the jewel every event in life presents us with a new opportunity to experience ever greater love there is a jewel to be found within every teardrop trust we your angels are guiding the current events this is a time in which you and those close to you will emerge strengthened by ever greater bonds of love trust there is nothing to fear there is only love so there is a lot of love happening for you and current um, connections in your life are going to grow ever stronger you are something precious you are unique you are special you are loved by your angels they want you to know that and um, the healing for you guys feels a, a bit more sensitive and tender than these first two piles like um, this is where I feel a lot of uh, betrayal sadness heartbreak setback has happened and now your angels are trying to help heal you and lift you out of that okay and you will come back into your personal empowerment and beautiful things happen um, and for you guys this is big time around relationships all right so those are the messages from spirit for this week it's all about embracing your destiny and believing in yourself and realizing what must be changed in this mental body for you to have that breakthrough that you so desire and it comes down to a choice all right and through that choice you receive a very deep healing you've got lots of spirits around you trying to help you out the solar plexus and the sacral chakra being spoken of quite strongly through this whole message and the star at the center you know um, fortune meant for everybody and those of you that were attracted to this first pile the star stars and the star it is time you are right there all right so those are your messages I am sending each and every one of you lots of love and light and wishing you a very beautiful week ahead take care